Hey guys, imagine I've been sneaking around. I am traveling to Nairobi and right now I'm actually at Roy. And yeah, I just started the vlog randomly. <laughs> I don't plan to do this, but here we are. So, we are at Roy. I left Melindi at 7.30. Right now it's around 1 p.m. I'm at Roy, so I think I'll take you guys along. Yeah. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us high It's the first time I'm using bus car because apparently it's the only bus that travels during the day from Malindi to Nairobi. Then who will have thought that in all towns in Kenya, apparently, there are always cows that are feeding somewhere. <laughs> but why? Why Kenya? Hmm? There are always cows that are feeding somewhere inside a town. So this is Voy Town. And here are their cows too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I started this random vlog because I saw how the Voy town looks really cool. It's like a town inside a valley, okay, not a valley, but in between hills. Like you can see the town is located in between hills. You can see hills on the other side on the, and the building and human activities in between the hills. And even on the other side of the road that I could not record because I was seated on one side of the vehicle. It was still the same. There, there's so many big hills. So the town basically is in between the hill. This thing really just attracted my attention and I was just curious about it. It's beautiful. I don't know if the camera even did it justice. I saw this long stretch of <clears throat> of vegetation that had been raised down by fire and I was just wondering like was it man-made fire or was it a natural fire of, or what really happened here to the extent that I saw it the, the, the burning had gone all the way to the SGR so I'm wondering if this was done intentionally to clear out the place or this was an accident or this was uh, I don't know I don't understand, but it was a very, very long stretch of burnt out radio. Tell me if you know about this. So then we went here for a break to get some snacks or something to eat and to also use the washroom. So yeah, that was what happened. I already got something to eat. I'm not a serious eater when I'm traveling. Although I also don't like to have my stomach empty because I feel nauseated. So I like to just get some little snacks. And today I'm just having biscuits for that purpose. To just make sure that my stomach is not empty. Because then I'll feel nauseated and I'll start throwing up. So I'm not a heavy eater when I'm traveling. But I cannot travel on an empty stomach. Yeah, so my, my aim is just to make sure there's something in my stomach. <laughs> Honestly. have this break like refreshment break or eating break or 
washroom break at mtito and day which is like at, <coughs> at the midpoint between malindi <coughs> malindi and nairobi so yeah I usually have this break at around at mtito and day <coughs> so this was around 1 1 p.m yeah and so i saw someone outside who just parked their car then they came out then took a camera <laughs> and took a picture of it before going inside like can somebody explain to me why someone will do that like uh, what 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 is the possible reason for someone to do that <laughs> get out of the car take a picture of it at the front where there is the number plate then just go in like <laughs> why would someone do that can somebody explain anyone and the journey continues so we are just leaving that place where we had our short break and i don't know i don't know about you guys but personally i was raised in an area where i always saw greenery like vegetation was always green and me just passing through a long stretch of land where vegetation is not green i'm like how do you people survive in these areas like how? You cannot grow crops, you cannot grow A, B, C, D. I don't know how you survive in areas like this. If you've lived in a place like this, <laughs> please let me know because you buy everything like this. You buy everything from the, from the grocery stores. So how do you survive in places like this? And this is a bit even green. I passed other places that were way worse. Way, way worse. Yeah? Then I realized that sisal is not only grown in Kilifi, there are more and more sisal lands in Kenya. Just look at that, a very high, long stretch of sisal, sisal plantations, so yeah. someone tell me what you call these trees i remember my sisters and i used to use them to to extract some glue from them and but i've never really known their name anyone that knows the name of these trees <laughs> this one yeah that one anyone that knows their name <laughs> we used to extract gum from them but i've never really known their name to be honest <laughs> let me try and capture it well let me try and capture one. This one, that tree, that one. Yeah? Who knows its name? 